Thanks, Tomer. So, in this demo of Dremio Cloud, we'll frame it really in two personas. The first being a data analyst. So we'll actually go through performing BI analysis directly on our cloud data lake using Tableau. The second is really from a data scientist perspective. So we'll actually simulate a group of data scientists across an organization, all running their you know, ad hoc exploratory kind of analytics. And really we'll show instead of running one and then the other, we'll actually run them both at the same time to show how Dermio Cloud really seamlessly handles that. Because in the real world, that's what you have is these heterogeneous workloads at running at the same time. So here we see that Dremio Cloud has a multi-engine architecture. So we can see here the set of engines that are actually defined in our environment. So one of note is the data analyst engine. We can see here that it's a size medium. And here we see details about the replicas for this engine. So a replica is basically the unit of scaling within an engine. So we can see here that the data analyst engine is configured to have a minimum number of replicas of one. So there's always something running in this engine to be ready to interactively respond to any data analyst queries. It also has a maximum number of replicas of 10. So this basically says Dremio Cloud scale depending on workload, just automatically scale from one replica to 10, but don't scale past 10 because we want to control our costs in this way. We don't want to scale to 20 or 30 or 40, which you could certainly configure Dremio Cloud to do as well, but allows you to provide that control. The other engine that we see here is the data science engine. It's also of size medium, and this one, unlike the data analyst engine, actually has minimum number of replicas set to zero. So this is basically saying that, hey, when a, you know, if there aren't any data science queries running, just shut the whole engine down. And basically what you see, can see here is that there's no replicas running because there are no queries or no workload running on this engine. So this engine is costing us nothing. So let's actually go ahead and kick off the data science uh, workload. So we can go here and we can actually run this demo script, which when I run this will actually kick off a hundred concurrent queries against Dremio Cloud. So it'll actually continuously run a hundred concurrent queries in the background. So here we can refresh the jobs page and we can see the job start to come in, right? We can see the, the job here and it's actually kicking off the engine start. So it's actually going ahead and kicking off the initial replica. Now we have one replica that's running. We have four nodes within this replica. Um, so these will actually go ahead and start up and then um, the rest of the replicas will in fact start up to handle the concurrency that we issued. So let's change hats and actually go into the data analyst scenario. So as we do that, keep in mind that the entire time we go through the rest of this, there will actually be 100 concurrent queries continuously bombarding Dremio Cloud. So from a data analyst perspective, we actually want to go ahead and perform trend analysis on taxi rides in New York City. So we'll go ahead and select the business zone of our semantic layer. We can see here the transportation uh, folder. And we see here a data set called NYC Taxi Trips. We want to go ahead and select that, and Dremio will bring us a preview of the data. So we can see here that we have the when they were picked up, when they were dropped off, passenger count, etc. We can see that these are in fact individual taxi rides. So each record in here is an individual taxi ride. And in fact, in this data set, it's actually a billion records stored in our cloud data lake. So let's go ahead and perform our trend analysis. So with the data set pulled up here in Dremio, I'm gonna go ahead and quick and click this uh, quick launch button for Tableau. And it will download a small pointer file. So I'm not downloading any data. Uh, that would certainly take a while. It may not even fit. Um, and it will launch Tableau basically pointed this data set, pointed this instance, and in it, it also says, Tableau, I'm actually configured for single sign-on. So Tableau will automatically launch me to a web page where I go ahead and log in. So I'm gonna go ahead and log in to Dremio Cloud, and here we can see that this is the organization. I'm gonna log in with Google, because that's um, basically our enterprise identity provider is G Suite. I go ahead and select my Dremio account. It'll go ahead and authenticates me, and then it sends the credentials to Tableau, and it basically says, hey, you're now safe to, to close this window. Great, go back over to Tableau, and I have my data set pulled up, right? So I didn't have to, to um, type in or manage any credentials here. I just used my normal identity provider that I use every day. So let's perform trend analysis. Let's look at number of rides you know, over time to start. And number of rides is really, you know, again, because one record is a ride in the table, we actually wanna do the number of records in this data set. So we take that and we drag that into the shelf and we see that Dremio comes right back and says, okay, yep, you have actually over a billion records uh, in this data set, which is again, stored in our data lake storage. 
So let's look at, again, number of rides over time. We go ahead and pull in the, the pickup daytime defaults to year. Uh, that's great. We can, you know, change it. We can look at quarter instead. Um, we can go ahead and pull in additional measures like the tip amount. We can change it from, you know, it's sum by default. We can change it to average. Um, note that every single one of these clicks that I make in Tableau, which comes back interactively, right? It comes back right away, um, is actually a live query back to Dremio. So if I go ahead and pull up Dremio and go back to the jobs page, here we can see the data science query is starting to complete, right? We have some completed, some still running. Um, if we actually go ahead and refresh this, here we can see the queries from Tableau, right? So we can see the SQL that was ran, and we can see that all of these were actually replied to by Dremio in under a second. So actually sub-second response times, which is, was providing that interactivity for us in Tableau as a BI user. And here we can see that it's actually getting routed to the data analyst engine, right, as we wanted it to. Meanwhile, while we were able to provide that interactivity for the data analyst, the entire time, there was still all of these queries running against Dremio, right? We see some uh, still queued. We see, um, you know, quite a few running. Um, so again, now we start to see the remaining ones start to run because if we actually go back to the data science engine, we now see that we have nine active replicas. So then these are all the nodes that are currently running within the environment, right? So this was able to automatically scale out. And now if we actually go ahead and cancel this script. So this will basically terminate the connections with Dremio, right? So it will basically cut that off. Dremio will actually automatically recognize, of course, that the queries um, are starting to cancel, which, uh, you know, when it hits the timeout, which basically it does there. Um, and then what it'll do is after one minute, so we've canceled all queries on this engine, right? Using our script. Um, and after one minute, it will actually automatically deprovision all of these, basically the replicas as well. Right, because we basically configured it that way. We said, hey, when there's nothing running, go ahead and shut it down quickly. Um, so while we wait for that to shut down, just to quickly recap, uh, you know, really what we saw. Certainly on the you know, on the Tableau side, really on the data analyst, we were able to provide a not just a certainly a streamlined uh, user workflow. Right, we were just able to open that that pointer file. We're able to open up Tableau, launches uh, Dremio. We're logging in using our identity provider, right? We just did a couple clicks that we do every day. Um, we're able to get our authentication set up, which then also provides for the IT side, the authorization, audit logging, uh, governance, things of that nature. We also saw, you know, in the data analyst, really the performance, right? We still saw that sub second response time, regardless of there being, you know, all of these other workloads happening in the background. And IT didn't have to manage any of that as well. Now that we see, you know, certainly around the scalability that did the data science engine automatically scaled out, right? It automatically scaled out to handle the workload that it saw. And now that the workload is not there anymore, right? Or there's at least less workload. We see that the nodes and really the replicas are starting to deprovision. We see now that we're back to one active replica and that so basically we're able to manage that uh, really cost and performance uh, trade off, right? We're able to, to manage that uh, in this way automatically with Dremio Cloud. We also saw really on the isolation, right? We ran both of these workloads at the same exact time, uh, the entire time that we were going through this, right? And we didn't see any effects. IT didn't have to manage anything. Dremio was automatically scaling out both on the query planning side, on the control plane, the globally distributed control plane, um, as well as the um, really on the execution side with the engines, right? It was automatically scaling out the, the execution uh, resources that we needed. So thanks. Back to you, Tomer.